Hello Internet people! In this video I'll show you how you can move a domain from GoDaddy to another host like Namecheap. After this video your domain will be fully transferred to another host and you don't need to renew your domain at GoDaddy anymore. Arnie, what do you say to GoDaddy after this video? Hasta la vista, baby. Tip sweat punch. Before we start, I need to mention you a few things that can limit your transfer. Basically, this applies to all hosting providers. If you buy a domain and tomorrow you want to transfer it to a new host, it won't be possible. You have to wait for the 60 days. Also, if you've just transferred the domain from another host and now you want to transfer again, that's not possible. The limit is 60 days. You can still point the DNS to another host, but you just can't transfer the whole domain to a new host. And you need to make sure that your domain is unlocked to transfer. Usually this is easy to disable and I'll show you in this video how to do it. All right, let's get started. So first, just sign in to your GoDaddy account. And here in your products, you see domains. You can also get there from the quick links here and just go domains. As you can see, I'm gonna move this domain as it's expiring and I wanna have the benefits of Namecheap, like the free privacy protection. It's free, it's free. Free privacy protection. So I'm gonna make sure that the auto renewal is off. You can do it by clicking on this link and then select the ones you don't want auto renew. So let's cancel it. I've selected this one and then click cancel. Cancel renewal. And you can reply this questionnaire, blah, blah, blah. Let's get it going. And now you can go back to home and domains. So if you don't see this table, this blue one, then just scroll up here and then click on these three thingies, whatever they are. Arnie, how do you call these thingies? <laughs> From laps with your four wins. And then you will see this view. Then just scroll down. And what's important here is that you check that your privacy and that the domain is not locked. So first, in my case, I don't have uh, privacy settings on this one, not available. But if you have, you need to switch it off. And you can switch it off by going to the domain itself. And you can remove the privacy protection by clicking on this one. So what GoDaddy does is it doesn't allow, allow you to add it back, which is kind of, yeah, well, it's not so nice. So if you remove it, be sure that you're actually transferring your domain to another host. So in my case, I'm not moving this one. I just want to show you the how you can remove it. So let's go back to the domains. And the second field you need to worry about is the lock. So in my case, I want to unlock this domain or actually unlock it. And now it's unlocked. Now you have to wait until you receive an email from GoDaddy verifying that the lock has been unlocked. And until then, I'll pause the video. Arnie, how's my English? You should not drink and, and make videos. All right, in my case, actually, the email came almost instantly, so we can continue with the video. But basically, it just states that the domain is unlocked. Uh, well, before we go to Namecheap, uh, let's double check that your email is actually the correct email. So just go to the, to the domain. And then double check your contact details. The email that you have there, make sure that it's something you can access. If you can't, then you need to change your contact information. Namecheap will send some emails to that address and you need to confirm that you actually own that email. All right, so let's go to Namecheap and then we need to sign in. All right, then go to domains and transfer. Then type in your domain and click on transfer. And as you can see, GoDaddy and domain is unlocked. That's great. And if we scroll down, as you can see, this will cost you. But the great thing about this one is it all actually extends your domain by a year. So this domain is actually expiring very soon. And if I do it with 
Namecheap, they will just extend the expiry date. So you can keep more money in your pocket like this guy. So the next thing we have to do is basically get the authorization code to do this whole process and you get it from GoDaddy. So just go to domain manager. So I'm already in the domain settings. And then if you scroll down here, you can see that you have this field get authorization code. Just click on it. So now it just states that it's been sent to my email and indeed it's almost instant. So I've received the authorization code. So I'm going to copy it and then go back to Namecheap and paste it here. And then just add it to your card. And as you can see, you'll have to pay about nine bucks. Then click on view card. And let's just double check if there's any promos from Namecheap for the domains. So just grab the URL here and add slash promos at the end. There's a lot of them here. Just search for domain. And here they have save on DOMS. Just copy it and then paste it in the promo code field and apply. And I got, what was that? Four cents of discount. Awesome. Maybe in your case, it will actually work better. Disappointed! I have the auto renewal enabled. And then uh, obviously the Whois Guard, just keep it enabled. This is the privacy protection that Namecheap provides for free, whereas in GoDaddy, you have to actually pay for it. So let's confirm the order. Just fill in your payment options and then click on continue. And double check that you're happy with all the details and then proceed to check out. In my case, I'm using PayPal, so there's an extra step here. All right, and we got our thank you page and basically how you have the things here but what you can do here is just scroll down and then click on manage and you can see here that, that the transfer will begin shortly and this might take some time uh, the great thing is GoDaddy will send you an email that the transfer has been requested but you still need to accept it so before you accept it it's not gonna actually transfer it and this might take a bit of time so I'll pause the video until it's done Arnie, how do you speed up these things? Go daddy, work harder. If you're enjoying this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That will help me with the YouTube algorithm and push this video even higher. Thanks a lot. So, this process actually just took like 10 or 15 minutes and then I got this email. But basically it's saying that I've requested the domain transfer and it's ready to go. You can just click on the sign in and it will take you to the domain section then click on manage all and then under domains go to transfers and click on transfer out and as you can see you have here just check it and accept the transfer so it says it'll take 15 minutes but in my case actually i got it almost immediately you will receive emails from GoDaddy. First, they're gonna try something very desperate. Basically, they're offering you a very low fee for to extend with them. But honestly, this is a bit too much already. And I think too late. Then second email saying that they have successfully completed the domain transfer. And then there's also going to be an email that actually you've canceled the product. This just means that it's been transferred to Namecheap. Just a sec, it's not fully transferred yet. Now, if we go to Namecheap, you won't actually see that the domain has been transferred yet. Uh, so you have to wait another 10, 15 minutes. And once you receive an email from Namecheap, it will look like this. Domain transfer completed. That's when 
actually you can start controlling this domain. So now if we go to the Namecheap dashboard and you just refresh the page, you can see that the domain doesn't have any more with another host warning. This just means that now you have full control over it. You can even change the DNS and point the name server somewhere else. It's really up to you. One thing to remember at this point is to check that your domain still works. So go to your domain and look at your website, check if everything works. If not, you need to check that the DNS settings and especially the name servers are okay. Usually Namecheap copies them correctly from the other host, but just in case, if you have issues, check those first. Also double check that your email is working if you're using a built-in email, as you might need to reset it. And that's it. If you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, then hit the subscribe button and find the bell icon so you get the, all the updates.